My daughter Alicia was horrifically abused and consequently suffers terrible PTSD where she relives the physical, the sexual, and the emotional abuse of many men. Her life is at a standstill. She's totally dysfunctional and dependent. She'll lay in bed all day. She'll forget to take her meds. I don't like taking the meds. I have an EpiPen with me in case anything happens. I have my weekly med trays. You have breakfast, lunch, supper, and bedtime. We rarely can leave Alicia alone because she has many physical symptoms, chronic vomiting episode after another, allergic reactions, trouble breathing. Sometimes her tongue swells right out of her mouth. For six years, she was in a wheelchair. She lost the use of her legs. She has seizures. She passes out. Come on, baby. Mama's trying hard to be calm, but you need to help me, okay? Come on. Paramedics have been called daily. That's a good pressure. Yeah. She becomes unconscious. She dissociates, so she's actually reliving the horror of the abuse. So she'll be six years old in a trance, and she heads for the door yelling, he's coming, he's coming. It's extremely difficult to watch my baby girl <laughs> continually reliving these horrors. Taking care of Alicia is a 24-7 job. We're totally depleted. Alicia doesn't sleep by herself. My husband Richard will hold her until she falls asleep in our bed. We have invested everything we had into our daughter's care. We've had to remortgage the house. All our retirement savings have had to be cashed in. We have nothing left to give. If we had known about the abuse, she wouldn't be living all this. It was the most important job we had, and we failed miserably. So what exactly does Alicia say happened to her all of those years ago? Now, she claims the horrific abuse included being raped by multiple men, hunted, run down in a forest by these men, kept in a basement, and being forced to watch animals being tortured and mutilated. Now, she says her life has been ruined by the PTSD and all of her medical issues, and she just wants everything to be normal. She claims she was hunted. She has said that up to seven men were chasing her through the woods. Couldn't walk. For six years, my daughter was wheelchair bound. And there's nothing wrong with her legs. And had seizures. But are her claims true? Anybody that challenges it, she has an episode. I'm gonna go talk to Alicia. She might be getting ready to have a bunch of episodes. All new Dr. Phil.